hey guys yeah welcome back to my youtube channel in this particular video i'll show you guys how to create a 3d design on pscc and pxl lab yeah, without wasting our time let's dive into it so i open my pscc and after opening it i'll create a blank document then the size the size i use is one two eight six eight five five yeah then i create it so my background i'll fill it color black fill and stroke color color black yeah then now i'll import the image i'll be using for the design so i'll select this for my gallery yeah so this is it this is the image so i'll adjust it I'll adjust it to the way to the way I want it to be. Yeah. So after doing this, I'll mark it. Yeah. Then right now, I'll select my fade and I'll fade the edges so the the cropped area won't be visible. Yeah. Then the bottom part also, I'll fade it like this. Yeah, so this is okay like this. So now I will import our coin image gallery. So I'll import the Solana coin image. Yeah. So I'll I'll flip I'll rotate it like this. I'll rotate it like this. And I'll make it small because I want it to look like it's coming out from the from the hole. Yeah. So I'll put it like this. Yeah. So right now I will create something like directional block and I will direct it to the area it's coming from. It's not going to be too much. Can you see? Just something like this. Then mark it. Now you duplicate the layer. The one you duplicated, make it invisible. This one you make it invisible also. So now let's let's make it be inside the hole. So you have to select this this edge of this hole like this. Can you see that? Can you see what I selected? Yeah. Then you make your coin visible again. So after doing that, you move to your eraser. Then you erase. Oh, sorry. You, you select the coin. Then you erase this part away. You see, it is the selected part that will be erased because it's, it's Photoshop-like software. So you deselect it. Can you see that? So you can just you can just move the extras, then you move it up a little bit. Yeah. So we have that like that. So now you duplicate this. The one you duplicated, you make it visible. You bring it. You duplicate it like twice. Then one is going to be here. It depends on how you want it. You might just want one to be here. The other one is going to be here. Can you see that? So I will erase the part also again, like this. Select, select the edge here. Then you move back to the coin and erase the unwanted area. Yeah. So you deselect it again. So now the full one, I'll duplicate it once again. I'll bring it somewhere. Hey, sorry, I didn't duplicate it. So I'll duplicate it and transform it. So I'll bring it somewhere here. Somewhere here. Then let me add one more. Transform. Bring that here. Okay. I think it is okay like this. So right now, let's add a light on, on the coin, so it's going to look realistic. So add an empty layer, then add a shape like this. So the shape is going to be like this. And you move to the hand icon and select fill and stroke. So you fill it this color, this color coming out of this hole. You fill it the color. Or better still, let's fill it, let's fill it something like light blue. Yeah, so you mark it select it so now you move to your fade you select this fade here and 
bring it, drag it down like this. So the next thing you are going to do, just watch closely. So you rotate the shape, you drag it up like this. Can you see that? Yeah. So now you move to your wrap, you drag this. Oh, sorry. You have to do that before rotating it. You wrap it, then you drag the edges like this. Can you see that? Yeah. So you move to your FX Gaussian blur. You give it a blur like this. Yeah. So now you transform it and rotate it. I will select my lock aspect ratio and I will start adjusting it. Can you see? Can you see what I'm doing? Can you see? Just, just have to, just have to. So, yeah, so now I'll select this stuff I'm using to erase the unwanted area again. So I'll select the area out. Yeah, then I'll move to my eraser and select the lights. Then I'll erase the unwanted area. Yeah, it's okay like this, okay like this. So the next thing now is to import an image like um, an island or image filled with rocks, something like that. So I'll be using this, I'll be using this. So this is going to be here. The guy over there is not useful, just, just, I'll just remove it. So right now, Fade these parts. Just watch closely. You do, you do it like this. Can you see that? Can you see that? So you now you fade it again. Then you fade away this edge. Yeah. So now this light you created, you duplicate it. Transform it. So right now, this light is going to be here. It's going to come from this bottom. So I'll, I'm going to drag it to the back, just like this. So I'll give it more Gaussian blur. Can you see that Gaussian blur again? Yeah. So this image now of our this island, this land image, I'm going to give that overlay. Yeah. So right now, let's adjust this this light we have at the back. We transform it and adjust it. I don't want the I don't want the land to be so visible. Just visible a little bit. Yeah. So again, I'll give this Gaussian blur again. Yeah. Right now, I'll select done and I'll save. So I'll select PNG and save it to my gallery. Yeah, the next thing now is to open Pixel Lab. So I'll cancel it and import the image from my gallery. Like this. Then I'll add I'll add the text. I'll type the Solana. Yeah. So I will I will move to my font and select the font. Yeah, poppins, poppins. I love using it. So I'll select the color. So right now I think I'll select the color from our coin. Yeah, this particular color here. Yeah. So I will I will going to reduce my line spacing and reduce the text. So it's going to be here. Then I'll duplicate the text and bring it down here. So I'll type here drop. Yeah. So now I'll change my font to the DMT DMT font. I'll 
DM DM serif text italic. Yeah. So now I'll change the color to a gradient. And I'll select the color of the Solana coin, which is this. And let's select the second one. And this. Yeah. So I have the color. So right now I will increase my size. Yeah, then I think this one, let me give it color white because it's not, not actually. Okay, I'll lock, I'll lock this layer, the airdrop, and I'm going to adjust this here. Yes, can you see that? So right now, you move, you move it. You move it. Then I'm going to type a thread you add it oh sorry I closed my app again so let's let's adjust it again yeah so this one here just move it up a little bit then I'll duplicate it It's a thread you type is there a thread yeah so that's going to be you can put it anywhere you want it to be so i'll just i'll just prepare mine here then i'm going to give it a good 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 text yeah so the next thing now is to type the name of the let's say the project owner so you can just type solana x genius Yeah. So right now, you move to your font again and select the font poppins. I'm using poppins because I love the font. Yeah. So I, I'm going to put that somewhere at the top. But always make sure your texts are aligned. Always make sure your texts are aligned. So this one also, I move it. I move it. I move it to the to the line. Yes, then the airdrop also, I move that also to the line. Yeah. So now I'll type another text. Under the, under the, the Solana airdrop, like what's the airdrop is actually based. Yeah. So you can just put that here. Okay. Yeah. So right now you adjust the text. This also you adjust this. After adjusting it. So if you have a logo for the for the name of the project owner or something, you can put it there. But if you don't have, you can just you can just leave it. Yeah. Then, so right now you say you save your design as image, save as image PNG, then ultra, then you save it as gallery. So guys, that's just how you can create Web3 design and so that. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.